Hi there and thanks for your interest in the Moose framework. In this short video we are going to explain the revised version of the AI balancer within the Moose framework. The AI balancer class will compensate with AI the lack of players within your multiplayer missions. It works with a set of clients and a spawning or multiple spawning modules that the AI balancer will use to spawn the AI. The functionality of the AI balancer is quite easy. The first function replaces slots where there are no human players with AI, which are dynamically spawned within your mission. The second is when a player joins a slot and there is an AI alive representing that player, then that player will that AI will either be destroyed or it will return to a an airbase that is selected by two methods that are existing within the AI balancer class. The AI will only return to the uh, airbase if there are no enemy client groups within a given range. And the fourth and most important functional uh, capability of the AI balancer is that it can be tailored. It can be modified, extended, so that it fits your functional requirements for your mission building. You can add easily functions onto the existing AI balancer class. Let's talk about spawning replacement AI by a balancer. And let's ex and through a couple of diagrams here, I'm going to demonstrate how this is working. So imagine that you have two client slots on both coalition sides. Blue side has two, red side has two. And there are no players logged in into your mission at mission start. So you'll see two AI planes being spawned dynamically on both coalition sides. When a blue player joins one of the slots, then the AI will be decommissioned. It may be destroyed or it may return back to the to one of those bases. Um, in this in this example here, the on the red coalition two players are joining, and as a result, the AI that was alive will be decommissioned automatically. Now, when that player is leaving that slot, then the AI will be spawned again into your mission. So the AI balancer follows dynamically how many players are alive at a given point in time and will react accordingly. As I said, when a player joins a slot, then the AI that is currently alive may be destroyed immediately or it may be commanded to return to an airbase. And in these couple of diagrams, I'm going to demonstrate how the return to airbase air base is actually working. So the first scenario here is that an AI is taking off at airbase one and will follow its route. The AI will land at airbase two. Now, when the, the AI is on its way and you must also notice that the AI is being spawned at a timed interval which you can specify with the init, um, what is it there, init spawn interval API, I think, yes. Um, so in, as a result, the AI will be spread out over the route that you mapped out. When a new player is joining a mission, then one of those AIs that was underway, which represents that player, will be commanded to get back to its home base and land. Or it may be commanded to return to the nearest airbase, which is in this case airbase number 3. Note that airbase number 4, which is an enemy airbase, was closer, but that plane will not land, of course, on the enemy airbase, because it's not a friendly airbase. A very special case happens when from the red side the red side is flying into a certain range where 
AI is being present. And what I wanted to ensure is that that player will not suddenly see those AI uh, disappear when on the blue side a player would join that mission. So what I've built in is that if an AI is within a certain range around a player from the enemy, then that AI will not return to those air bases or will not be destroyed. It will continue to exist. So that player will have a full simulation environment consistency. It, it will not see AI disappearing and vanish at random. And as I explained before, the AI balancer is basically what we, would, what we call a finite state machine. The finite state machine of the AI balancer is basically a process that monitors which players are entering in which slot and it will react accordingly. It may spawn new AI when required or it may destroy the AI or it may command the AI to return to the nearest or the home airbase. Note that when, with the spawn, this is a very interesting uh, example, so when uh, a new AI is being spawned, then there is a spawned event here and a spawn status here that you can handle during the transition. So you can actually build methods here to tailor the AI balancer behavior and modify the AI balancer according your requirements for your mission. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a couple of moments in the next video. Thank you for watching.